Welcome back everybody. So I am finally starting to put out my outdoor decorations for Halloween. Now I know a lot of you share the same sort of decorating concepts as I do. Um, and two in particular I wanted to talk to you about today. We have our pirates and we have our pumpkins. And if you've watched my walkthroughs in the past, I usually, well, I've had a you know pirate zone and then I have my pumpkin army, which is kind of like my army men on um, kind of like scarecrow sticks. But uh, there's never really a good way to transition them and it was kind of serendipitous that I got an email from someone uh, about a week ago that suggested the perfect product to transition from my pirates to my pumpkins and what could be better than singing pirate pumpkins. <laughs> I've actually used singing pumpkins in the past. It always gets such a good reaction from the kids. In fact, I even have built myself a little stand here for my three singing pumpkins. And um, I did this because I don't like to use real pumpkins. I, I like this, I can just throw it out every year. It's quick and easy. And I built a little PVC frame for it so that I can um, uh, put a little stake in the ground and it'll just slip right on top of the stake. And uh, that really helps me because most of my yard is filled with ivy. I don't have grass, so I need something that kind of sticks up a little bit. So this is perfect. Simple frame, little bit of creepy cloth, my pumpkins, use it over and over and over. Now I just need to find the perfect singing pumpkins, which I think this is going to do it. So let's take a quick look at the artist's website. And his name is Jeremy Putnam, and his website is called ramshornstudios.com. As you can see, he's got lots of fun and interesting artwork, including things like Deadpool comics where you know, uh, it's a distracted juggling. Did I leave the stove on and he's cutting off his hand with the sword? I love that. Very cute. Very awesome. Um, be sure to check out his website and other social media that you can link to from his page. But he has come out with a um, singing pumpkin trio. Like I said, it says, pirate pumpkins are sea shanty singing projection decorations for your Halloween haunt. Download the video files and use a laptop, USB drive, or SD card to display them from your projector onto fake or real pumpkins and bring them to life. So he does have a three pack of pumpkins coming available. Um, right now there are two that he shows on his site, including this one that is the Pirate Pumpkin Sing Eliza Lee. Let's go ahead and click for his demo. Our outward bound for the West Green Pier. Ho way, ho are you most done? With Galway Shale and Liverpool beer. Clear away the track and let the bull giant run to me. Hey, rig a jig in a jaunting gun. Ho way, ho are you most done? With lies of the all of my name. Clear away the track and let the bull giant run. Well, that was very catchy. I really like the different pumpkins. And let's see, what does it say in the description here? Eliza Lee is a traditional sea shanty with this version of the lyrics dating to the mid 19th century. It pays homage to the Margaret Evans, a packet ship following a London to New York route taken on as part of the Blue Star Line Shipping Company. And this version of the song is performed by the Dreadnoughts, a Vancouver, BC folk punk band. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the other clip here, which is Pirate Pumpkin sing Randy Dandio. Man, the soap caps in and he with the will. <gasps> Way, hey, roll and go. All right, I'm gonna pause that one for just a second so that screen doesn't go away, but let's go ahead and see the description of this one. Randy Dandio is a traditional capstan shanty from the late 1700s. The original lyrics are suggested to have been an unsubtle mockery of ship's officers as naval officers were often required to maintain uniform dress at seas. Every verse and the chorus ends in a sometimes not so subtle mockery of the authority of the ship's officers. Sounds very clever, it's performed by the same band. Now one thing I have, I do notice here is that 
looks like we've got two large pumpkins and a small pumpkin. So I'm hoping that's not going to affect my setup too much as I have more of a pyramid shape going on with a small, large, and a small. But anyway, if you're interested in checking out the pumpkins, the website here is gumroad.com slash pirate pumpkins. And then again, you can buy them. It looks like you can buy them separately or you can buy the whole trio. So a big thank you to Jeremy for sending me the singing pirate pumpkins. I can't wait to see them in action. But again, if you are interested in checking them out, please do so at his website. But with that said, let's go ahead and put this pumpkin to, to the side and pull out my projector. So this is just a simple window FX projector. They make these in so many different kinds. This happens to be um, one that Halloween Inflatable Geek sent me this year, so be sure to check out his channel as well. Thank you, I can't wait to put um, this to good use. One thing I was really excited about this projector, and I think it might be the case with most projectors, but I don't recall offhand, but this one particularly comes with a USB drive. So um, it seems pretty easy. I've just basically, when you go ahead and order um, the singing pumpkins, it gives you a link to download. So I've gone ahead and download them to a file on my computer. I'm just gonna transfer those to the thumb drive and then we'll see how it works in the projector. All right, with the files transferred to the thumb drive, all we have to do is plug it in to the projector Let's turn this on. It should work automatically. Let's go ahead and let that get set up for a second. You can see the big old Windows FX logo, so we know it's working. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights. Let's see if we can get this thing working. Now we are ready to head for the horn. All right, that was pretty cool, huh? So I ended up having to switch out the projector. The one that I was trying to use was just giving me some audio problems and it was loud and it's an older projector. Um, so I popped in one of these newer ones and it seemed to do just fine. Now, I would perhaps suggest that um, maybe three equal size pumpkins would have worked a little bit nicer. And in fact, I think the center pumpkin, which was just one of those Michaels large size pumpkins, is a little bit too big. Um, so if there was more of a medium -er size, it probably would have worked a little bit better, but I made it work. Had to prop up this third pumpkin just a little bit just to get the face to, to center on there. But I think if you were using real pumpkins, this would certainly be a lot easier um, because you can space them a little bit more um, where you need them to be. But, you know, I made it work. It worked just fine. It's a very interesting product. I'm pretty happy with it. I really liked the design of the three different pirates. They were all kind of unique. One with an eye patch. The one over there looked very skeleton-like. Um, and they all have those candles in the mouth, so I don't know if you noticed that. So I think uh, the artwork was top-notch, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, let me know what you think. And again, if you're interested in purchasing these for yourself, I will put a link in the description below. But that'll do it for today, I guess. So. Um, thank you for watching everyone. If you are going to purchase one of these, let me know. I'm curious to see how it looks in your display, but stay tuned. You might see it in my walkthrough. Anyway, so until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and happy haunting.